Hello guys, welcome back to A7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily A7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the types of the reinforced cement concrete beam. So there are basically two types of the RCC beam based on the reinforcement. So one is known as the singly reinforced beam and one is known as the doubly reinforced beam. So how to differentiate between these two types of the beam so I will explain this with the help of the example. So singly reinforced beam means that it, if it is the cross section of the beam, so the main reinforcement is provided only in the tension zone. So here is only tension reinforcement provided, tension reinforcement is provided only in the tension zone for taking the tensile stresses. While in the case of the doubly reinforced beam, we have tension reinforcement we have tension reinforcement and also we have here compression reinforcement so it is doubly double reinforced compression reinforcement that's why it is known as the doubly reinforced beam because it is double reinforced in compression and also in tension so, or we can also say here that the reinforcement is provided only in the tension zone in case of the singly reinforced beam. So, reinforcement is provided only in tension zone in case of the singly reinforced beam. In case of the doubly reinforced beam, the reinforcement is provided And both the tension and compression zone. So such type of the beam is known as the doubly reinforced beam where the reinforcement is provided in both the compression zone and also in tension zone. While when the reinforcement is provided only as the tension and tension zone, this type of the beam is known as the singly reinforced beam. So what, what is the reason that we provide the double reinforced beam? So here if I explain the reason, so if this is in a load, this is in a beam, simply supported beam, and there is a load acting on this beam, so due to this load, we provide the reinforcement in the tension zone here to take the tensile stresses. But when the load is too much increased, if this load is too much increased, and now we can also not increase the depth of the beam. Here is the depth or height of the beam, and this is limited or restricted. So what we do, we provide the reinforcement in both the phases, in both the compression and tension reinforcement in tension zone in order to increase the movement capacity of the beam. So now this beam will be known as the doubly reinforced beam because only the tension reinforcement was not able to take the load or to take the bending stresses so what we do to increase the moment capacity of the beam we provide the compression reinforcement and also the tension reinforcement in order to increase the moment capacity of the beam because of the restriction of the height with the increase of the height we can increase the moment capacity but when the height is restricted or we cannot increase the height due to some reasons, due to architecture or aesthetic reasons. So what we do, we provide the reinforcement in compression and in tension zone in order to increase the moment capacity of the beam. So in this way, we provide or we take the doubly reinforced beam. So this is the main reason that why we provide the reinforcement in compression zone and are because to increase the moment capacity of the beam. So this is a very simple and basic differentiation between the two types of the beam, RCC beam, one is singly reinforced beam, one is doubly reinforced beam. In singly reinforced beam, the reinforcement is provided only in tension zone, while in doubly reinforced beam, the reinforcement is provided in both the tension and compression zone in order to increase the capacity of the beam. So, hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.